Yo, what's good guys, it's your boy Luca M Entertainment here and we're back for another top 10, back for episode 2 of our season 4 and this week's episode I do also apologise once again uh, for not having a top 10 out last week and just not having videos out for the, the last week or so because being busy and doing stuff so yeah I do apologise for that but normal schedule will be resuming from most likely today because yeah, why not but yeah, um, this week's top 10 is going to be my favourite Gigantamax Pokemon now remember this is all my opinion, so don't get mad if someone doesn't appear on the top 10 that you wanted to appear. And also, I'm going to be basing most of these Gigantamax choices on design alone, because competitively, I don't use many Gigantamax Pokemon. Like, I would I will mention a few competitive things here and there, but I won't mention it much. But anyway, enough of that. Into the top 10. Starting off at number 10, we have G-Max Lapras. I'm just going to abbreviate G-Max because Gigantamax is way too long to say. But also, fair warning, most of these are going to be like, Whoa, I never saw these before. Like, I only the first time I saw them was throughout my playthrough when I did it on my Switch. But yeah. But anyway, guys, yeah, G-Max Lapras is at number 10, lowest on the list. Due to, because its design was really cool and it caught me by surprise when I streamed it. I had it, yes, because I did play through Pokemon Shield, not Sword, because I like Shield better. But yeah, it caught me completely by surprise. I did not expect Lapras to get a G-Max. I knew of a few G-Maxes already. It's just I, Lapras was one of the few alongside my champ, I think, and and a few others that I didn't know. But still, I I was completely caught off guard. And my favorite part about this this G-Max is that it, it sets up the Aurora Veil. Aurora Veil is that what it's called? Yeah. When it uses its signature move, I can't remember, I think it's G-Max Resonance, something like that. But yeah, and it's little sparkles around it make it look really cool. If only they gave it new abilities, like the Mega Evolutions, but yeah, nothing much I can really say about this one. Next on this list is someone making a return from last week's top 10, two weeks ago at this point, but two weeks ago's top 10 is Gigantamax Center Scorch. Now, this one, I had an idea it sort of was going to get a Gigantamax from, and in my own opinion, it looks pretty dope. It was like a small little serpent and now it grew like, if you remember, I don't know if anyone watched the, the Bakugan anime, but literally, remember that, I think it was a Bakugan trap? It, it basically reminds me of that, but it's all lit up in fire and everything like that, and it just looks so cool. Like, it, it, during competitive, when there weren't many Gigantamaxes at the time, I was literally always using this, and I always use this for raids as well. Like. I'm pretty sure it's got the same Gigantamax move as G-Max Charizard, it makes you caught in fire spin, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, but that's still a really dope design, I don't care. Number 8 on this list is Mini Dialga himself, well I wouldn't call that Mini Dialga, but it's just the same type thing. G-Max Duraludon. Now this thing I really like to use in competitive because of hazards and stuff like that and the screens. Now this Pokemon, I don't mind it's Gigantamax, it's a tower, I don't know what, it's supposed to be based off a tower in London, I don't know what tower is, I live in London, I don't even know what tower that's supposed to be, but there are so many towers, I suppose you could base it off any tower in London, which I really don't know, but anyway, enough about the tower, towers of London, still, this thing is pretty dope it's, itself, like, the shiny not so much, but I really don't know what to say about this thing, it's just a tower, it's quite a basic design, but I just like it because it's so basic and it's, this typing is really cool, which I still don't know how a tower can end up being a dragon type, but still, ask Game Freak, they'll know. Number 7 on this list is G-Max Al Creamy, the cake, now the reason this cake is on this list, because I love cakes and a sweet tooth, as you all know, well, most of you know, my friends will know that especially, but still, I have a massive sweet tooth, I do not care. And maybe because I like cakes, I like this Pokemon. Now, I don't like cakes this big, but this reminds me of more of a wedding cake, which I'm not really into that, but still. Uh, yeah, I just like the design because it's all rainbow colored and all that shit. And the shiny, I really like that. I want to get one of those. That's another, another, uh, that's another one of the shinies I really need to get on my shiny list for Sword and Shield. Because I have quite a few shinies in Sword and Shield already, it's just I don't have the ones that I want for some of them. But still, this Pokemon is dope. Um, I don't know what it's. G-Max movies is G-Max Finale, I think. I don't know, but still, it's not... Uh, overall, it's not that great of a Pokemon. I just like it because of design. Next one is this, is G-Max Snorlax. Now, I remember the pain and suffering this Gigantamax caused me because I was struggling to catch one of these pieces of shit right here. Oh, my God. But that, for that, one of those reasons, for that reason mainly, is why I like it so much, because the design looks cool. I thought it was going to change into a grass normal type, but it's just a, a normal type still, which is kind of stupid, so it's just growing fungus out of its stomach for some reason, and it's got a tree on its stomach, but still, 
One of my favorite parts or favorite things about this, this Gigantamax is its ability or one of its abilities. So you know the ability Gluttony, it changes. So now a berry will fall off when it gets to more than half HP and then it'll, when it's Gigantamax it will regen the berry. So that's really dope, I really like that and I, I've used this Gigantamax a lot especially. Now I just remember all the pain it caused me so that's probably why it's one of my favorites. So yeah, pain is a... Uh, Virtue, I don't know. I don't, I was trying to figure out a cool line to say, but it just didn't work out. Let's just move on to the next one. Midway point in the video, we have Gigantamax Toxic Toxicity. I always struggle to say his name. And he was in last week's, or I keep saying last week's, two weeks ago's top 10, episode 1, shall I say. And yeah, he's making a comeback. Now he's here, he's out here. His design's really dope, but I like what they did with him. They basically made his yellow and blue electricity, so it's low key and I think that's what it is. Oh, amped up, that's the one. They basically fused the two forms together and now he has blue and yellow electricity. And they basically gave him a power generator at the back of his wherever that is, his arse. I don't even know where that is. And he's basically embodied a lizard now because he's a well he was always a lizard, but now he's the pure embodiment of a lizard. Now this thing's Gigantamax move. I think it's G Max Stun Shock or something like that, I can't remember. But still, it is broken. You have a chance to paralyze or poison the opponent depending on which one you get but still it is a busted move because it will guarantee paralyze or poison any of one I would prefer prefer poison that made no sense but sure but I would prefer poison over anything because I'm a poisonous guy and you know how it goes but still cool Gigantamax have nothing bad to say about him he's just dope as shit punk rock yeah next up we have Gigantamax Corviknight, my second favorite Pokemon in the in the Gal Galar region. I was about to say something else, the Kalos region. I was about to say, but Jesus Christ! But yeah, we're here. He's dope as shit. I don't care. His his designs, the red and black wings. It's just he's got red all around him. I'm pretty sure it's all part of all Gigan Gigantamax Pokemon, the red smoke and cloud around them. But still, the red and black just looks dope as shit. He's basically a bigger Raven. I think that's what he is. Yeah, a, a Raven or a Crow. I don't know. But still. And the little flying things around him that look like flying robot things, I don't know what you want to call them, but still, those will get rid of spikes, the screens, anything like that, any sort of hazards they'll get rid of, and that is a dope design, I do not care, it is really cool. Corporate has always been one of my class favourites in this region, and it still is, I don't care, but he will never surprise Grookey, never will. Taking the third place spot and we're hitting into the top three is Gigantamax Charizard. As much as I hate this Pokemon, his Gigantamax is pretty cool. Just look at it, literally. The only problem I have with it is the little symbol in the middle. What is that supposed to be? Is that supposed to be like a sign of sunlight and fire? I really don't know, but still. It's a really cool Pokemon. Well, not the Pokemon itself, but the Gigantamax. It looks really dope. Uh, they're basically favoritizing Charizard again, so I can't really complain, can I? So. I'm just here, I don't really have anything bad to say about it, it shines pretty dope, the flames on his back is pretty dope, also something I should have mentioned, I'm not bringing up any of the other Gigantamax that are unreleased yet, so the ones that are coming out for the DLC I probably won't be mentioning either, but still, back to Charizard unfortunately, but yeah, this Pokemon's pretty dope as a whole, um, it, it didn't give me really that much trouble against Leon, because I had a code off myself still, because I had the Charizard half dead already, like on entry, so, really not much of issues but still it's a pretty broken Gigantamax Pokemon, probably one of the hardest ones to get and probably one of the best ones in general like in competitive so yeah really nothing that bad to say about it, unless you want to count I hate the Pokemon but sure. Taking second place on this list I was so close to putting it on number one but there was someone who I completely forgot about at the last moment but still taking second place on this list is G-Max Orbital now this Pokemon is basically a flying saucer it's aliens bro it's aliens I'm telling you but still, this thing is dope as shit, man. It's shiny as purple, and it looks really dope. I want it. I do not care. But still, this Pokemon is a flying saucer. They were really creative on the ideas for this one. Now, I really like its design. I wanna, I wanna use one. I don't know, like, I know I've got one. I've got quite a few um, Gigantamax Orbitals. I was about to say shiny. If I had a few of those, I'd bloody be pogging off. But still, nah, man. But. This thing's design is absolutely incredible. I don't care. It's a flying saucer, man. I like, as most of you know, I'm an anime fan and I watch quite a few weird animes here and there, but still, this reminds me of one of those spaceships. It reminds me of Freezer Ship. That's the one I'm looking for. It reminds me of Freezer Ship. Change it, to, change it to, to the shiny version. It's Freezer Ship right there. Literally, look at it. Just remove the bug from the front. It's Freezer Ship. Do not care. Call us shit. Just let's move on to number one. I can't have anything bad to say about this Pokemon. 
Claiming the number one spot on this week's list is Gigantamax Gengar. Now, you're probably wondering, like, what? Gengar? And there's no Colossal, there's none of the fit the class favourites. But, nah, Gigantamax Gengar is pretty dope. I, when I, I never, this was one of the ones I never expected to get a Gigantamax. Like, think about it. Like, when I first entered the gym, the ghost gym, I was completely shocked. I was thinking, what? She's got a Gengar, but what's she going to do? Mega Evolve? And then, I, and then when she Gigantamax is this shit, I'm thinking, Whoa! And then it looks stupid as shit because it's literally like it's a black hole. So you remember poking how Mega Gengar had that black hole burst or whatever it was? But still, that basically this is what it reminds me of. Except it's not a Mega Gengar; it's a Gigantamax Gengar. Now this thing is just dope as shit. I do not care, man. And on top of that, if you think about it, one one thing I'm gonna reference the Pokemon anime here. Ash, because you're watching sub spoilers. If you do want to get spoiled, back away from this video now. Ash has a Gengar. So they're hinting that he's going to get a Gigantamax Gengar. Now that would be pretty dope because he's already got another spoiler. He's already got a Gigantamax Pikachu. Now that's, this would be pretty dope. Pretty dope if you got a Gigantamax Gengar as well. So that would just be that would just be crazy. It would just make Pokemon anime so much better. Damn, I have nothing more to say. That's just insane. And with that, that's going to be the end of episode two, season four, top ten. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, this was all my personal opinion of Gigantamax Pokemon. If you want to leave your own list in the description who you thought were your favourites and were not on this list, then please let me know. Because so, I'm interested to know your guys' thoughts. And out of the new ones, I probably am looking forward to. Obviously, you know, I'm looking forward to my G-Max Rillaboom. You know, I love Grookey. Grookey's probably my favourite of the three of the entire evolution line. But you know how it is. But with that, I'm going to get out of your hair. I'm Luke at MA Entertainment and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out guys.